Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning into a special episode of OnePlus Talks today. I'm Crystal from the OnePlus community team, and here we have Martin. Hello, my name is Martin. I'm working as a product training manager for OnePlus Europe. I'm really excited to be a part of the OnePlus Talk today. Thank you, Martin. So we are here today to celebrate the global launch of our latest flagship true wireless stereo of the year, the OnePlus Buds Pro 3. The new flagship product, the OnePlus Buds Pro 3. I'm really excited about this one. Before we deep dive into the details, do you remember I said it's a special episode of OnePlus Talks? Even though it is your first time to be on the OnePlus Talks, do you notice any difference? Yeah, first of all, why are we standing? Uh, I thought that we were sitting in a comfortable sofa, chatting with someone. You got it. So we are here at Dyna Audio HQ, a pioneer in the audio industry, and most importantly, our trusted partner. Let's go take a look at their office. This looks nice. Did you know that Dyna Audio had been started in 1977? That's nearly 50 years old since they started to produce high fidelity, high quality sound systems, which is widely used in home feeders, professional audio settings, and automobile sound systems. So, oh, let's see who we got here. Dyna Audio's chief engineer. Nice to meet you, Stephen. Hi, nice to meet you. Good to see you again. Hi. Welcome to Scannerball where we focus on sound with our large measurement room and high-tech listening facilities. So, here we have the new OnePlus Buds Pro 3. Let's do a quick unboxing of it. From my side, I really like the way that we have been designing the OnePlus Buds Pro 3, especially the housing. It has like a textured feeling on the case, which is less slippery. So it's perfect when you're on the move. On the back side, we have a DynaAudio logo, since we have been working together with Dynaudio about fine-tuning the sound experience on the OnePlus Buds Pro 3. It's really comfortable to use because it's a lightweight headset and I even caught myself forgetting that I was wearing them a few times now. The sound performance on the OnePlus Buds Pro 3 is excellent, especially when it comes to revealing musical details. One of the key things with the OnePlus Buds Pro 3 is that we have a dual driver. But Steven, what is a dual driver? Dual drivers means that there's two transducers in each earbud one to do the high frequency and one to do the low frequency. Dual drivers means that they can be more tailored to the frequency band that they're gonna operate in. One of the key things that we have heard about in the OnePlus Buds Pro 3 is that it has something called dual DAC. But Stephen, what is a DAC and why is it useful in a earphone? So in your earbud, it connects to your phone via Bluetooth and that transmits the audio digitally from your phone to your earbuds. And you can't listen to digital audio. So you need a DAC, a digital to analog converter, to change that into the analog domain so that you can hear it. And having dual DACs means that we can use different uh, digital filters inside the earbud, one for the tweeter and one for the woofer, so that we can more effectively tailor the response for each transducer. What does that mean? So that means that each um, transducer can have its own set of filters that allow us to tailor the response to give maximum performance and that's something we'll deal with in the EQ later on. Oh, I think we should try to look at that now. Okay. So Stephen, we are sitting in a new room. Can you maybe tell me a little bit about this amazing room we are sitting in? Yeah, so this is um, one of our listening rooms here and it replicates a medium-sized post-production suite. So we use it to experiment with loudspeakers in that context. That sounds really interesting. So when we are talking about the new OnePlus Buds Pro 3, then you have been helping us with fine-tuning the sound. Maybe you can tell me a little bit about how you're doing that? Yeah, sure. When we approach sound tuning, we approach it the same way, whether that's a car, a pair of high-end speakers, some professional monitors, or earbuds. So. That's why we have the ear here. We can plug that into our computer system and record the frequency response. We use objective measures to measure the performance, like frequency response, distortion, those kind of things. And we use subjective measures. That means listening to them. And when we listen, we do it in maybe a different way than a consumer would. So we're not really interested in preference. Do you like it? Do you not like it? We're interested in what are the subjective, objective differences. 
So we listen for things like spatial localization, timbre, distance between sound sources in the sound field. Um, and then we qualify those and we give them a grading. Then we make changes, then we measure, then we listen, we make changes, listen, measure, and it's a, a quite a long repetitive cycle. So when you're doing the uh, fine tuning of the sound, then you probably have some specific music that you're listening to and trying to, to calibrate the sound too. Absolutely. We generally use tracks that we know quite well. Um, they're generally jazz, piano and female vocals and maybe a double bass. And we use those tracks because quite often the, the textures and the differences and the localization um, are very apparent because they're well recorded music. But it's really important to us to make sure that w whatever product we make bridges across all genres. So we will listen to opera, we will listen to heavy metal, we will listen to new wave, uh, rock, pop, hip hop. And as we get exposed to different cultures, we we bring in the music from those different cultures. Part of the collaboration with uh, OnePlus We've used a lot more uh, Chinese music to make sure that we get the right fricative sounds, because that's quite prominent in Chinese speech. So make sure we translate that properly from our speaker setup to the earbuds. Why is sound tuning important? And in which scenarios will it help our users to listen to music? So the sound tuning we focused on here is the Dinaudio featured tuning. And the aim of that is to give the closest representation of the sound performance of our speakers in a room. And the other EQs are available to give different flavors to different users. You know, we don't want to restrict people. They want to if they want a bit more bass or they need a bit more vocal clarity, then the other EQs are there to, to help sort that out. In OnePlus, we believe uh, in Never Settle. It's not about perfection. It's about uh, always pursuing the better. How does that fit into the DNA of uh, Dynaudio? That fits in very well with, with Dynaudio. If you ask any of our development engineers, what's the best product really stood out? And every one of our development engineers will tell you the one that they're working on right now. So we always, um, actually we never finish a product. The, the manufacturing guys just take it away from us. And the things that we always want to improve, we put into the next product. So very much never settle. So Stephen, if you want to give our community two things that they need to remember when they go out and buy new earphones, what should they look for? Uh, for me, and this might sound a bit strange, it's in maybe reverse order. Fit and feel is number one. You might have thought I would say audio first, but no. Fit and feel. If you don't like the way the earbuds sit, you will not wear them, you will not use them. It's kind of pointless having them. And then, obviously, audio quality. Make sure that you have something that you enjoy listening to, that isn't fatiguing, and that you want to go back to listening to all of your favorite tracks over and over again. Great, and that's it for today.